Thank you so much for staying here on News Desk. It's now time to know what's happening in the tech world. And the world's two best-selling television makers, Samsung and LG, are showing off rival 8,000, uh, is it, screens at the IFA Tech Show in Berlin. Uh, the TVs have four times as many pixels as uh, 4,000 sets or the 4K sets and 16 times as many as uh, the 1,080 pixels high definition ones and Kobe Spike and Kruma is here. So what is happening? I'm just, it's a bit confusing to yeah, those of us like who are not. Yeah, like hearing you say 8,000, 4,000 and 1,080, <laughs> that is just very funny. So it's 8K, K, right. 4K okay. and 1080p. Okay. So the current standard that everybody's using is 1080p. Okay. That's like 1,080 pixels. And then the 4K is, you know, 4,000. So you're not wrong, but we say 4K. <laughs> yeah, in, in, we yeah, say 8K. In the, right. So 8K, I mean, we haven't even mainstreamed 4K yet. And these guys are like, hey, we're going 8K already. Ooh. And that's super crisp. Imagine, you know, how your, your computer is actually 1080 pixels. So multiply that by 16, that's 8K. So you can imagine how clear the, the pictures would be, how crisp it would be. So Samsung and LG, they launched that IFA, and Samsung says, hey, people are ready. LG says, nah, people are not ready. And I agree with LG. People really aren't ready. They're not even done watching 1080p, let alone 4K. Now you're saying 8K. Anyway. Yeah, but but what, if there's something better, why should you be, wait for people to be ready before you are actually still very expensive. That means that 8K is Okay, so it's a money like, issue. Yeah. Okay. All right. I you guess know, it has to... When new technology comes... Actually, the good thing is that when new technology comes, it makes the older technology you know, the price go down. Yeah. Uh -huh. So those who haven't experienced the 4K can do so they when the 8K comes. Sometimes it's but actually interesting dynamics. The 4K so content is not even out there. We're still broadcasting in less than 1080p. We're not even broadcasting 720p yet. So if you have an 8K TV, everything will look bad to you. You'll enjoy it. Anyway, talking about uh, Samsung and LG trying to flaunt what they're, they're doing, iPhone or the Apple is expected mm. to release a new iPhone uh, in September. Yes. Three new iPhones. Oh. You know the iPhone 10, what people call the iPhone X, is actually the iPhone 10. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to release a sequel to that, which okay. people are speculating maybe called the iPhone XL or the iPhone X1, iPhone XX. Nobody knows what Apple is going to call it. But then there's promise of a much larger iPhone 10, a mid range iPhone 10, and then a much even larger iPhone XL, possibly. It's going to be like a six-inch phone. Um, you know, there are a lot of speculations, but mm. you know Apple, they always stay tight. But, but, but it's interesting that Apple moved from, you know, their known and, you know, uh, definitions for the phone in terms of the specs, and they're beginning to explore other angles. Are we likely to see different colors? You know? Yes, yes, yes. There's talk of a gold color. You know, last year they didn't bring a gold like mm. they usually do. Always they have a silver, space gray, and then a gold. But last year it was just silver and then a gray. And then there was... Apple put out that they were going to release a gold version, but it never came out. So people are saying that, okay, this time it's going to come out. It's going to be a gold version. And we've seen that there have been 24 karat gold iPhones. There's also speculation that it's going to be a 24 karat gold iPhone. That would be crazy. Yeah. Now, uh, there's some uh, good news for people who have problems with their sight with the help of technology. A 3D bionic eye uh, has been developed. Yes. You know, you need to explain this, copy. So, you know how we have like people who have their arms amputated they mm -hmm. have like a an arm that they can fix or a prosthetic mm. now you have a 3d printed should i say prosthetic eye it was a bionic eye which means that it actually works so it sees yes it sees it's not like what we see now um sometimes just for uh good looking or yeah. aesthetic purposes exactly. you know just you just put it there so that you are comfortable yeah. if you have an eye taken out. But this one you can see you with can it. You can actually see it. And the reason why they're calling it bionic is because it's electronic and it's connected to you biologically. Wow. So it's connected to your brain so you can, it's neurologically wired. So now you can control that bionic eye. How do you call those half human, half robots? Cyborg. Uh, is, <laughs> is that what we are getting to now? Are you we know, it's exciting. Cyborgs? I don't want to lose my eye, but if ever I lost an eye, yeah, I'll get a bionic Would you eye. want to try, you know, yeah. you test know, it to see how you know, it works? You know what I want? Night vision. So I have bionic <laughs> eye with night vision and I can see in the night. And everybody's okay. like walking in the dark and I'm the only one I can actually see. Mm. Oh, and, 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 and will this be on the market for people yes, to... someone has already gotten his fix. 
and okay. that's why it's a thing now. All right, interesting. <laughs> that will be a great, 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 great mm. uh, thing to try out here in Ghana. But um, a, a way for submerged marines to communicate with planes has been developed by researchers at MIT. At present, it's difficult for planes to pick up underwater sonar signals because they reflect off the water surface and rarely break through. Now, the researchers found an extremely high frequency radar could detect tiny ripples in water created by an ordinary underwater speaker. Now, th this could get lost, uh, let lost flight recorders and submarines communicate with planes. Good news for plane crash investigations? Yes, you know, after that Malaysian airline got missing, mm -hmm. a lot of research has gone into finding that black box. And it's always a problem when it goes underwater, because if you have submarines looking for them on an airplane, you know the way the water is, it doesn't allow radio signals to go under it. And submarines, they communicate like the whales do, they use, like dolphins, they use sonar. And that signal cannot also break through the water. So then it becomes there's difficult. Gap. There's a gap. And people at MIT, man, those guys, <laughs> those guys, the smarts, they found a way to get a speaker to create ripples. And then another, you know, um, receiver on the airplane can translate those ripples into like a communication method. And then they can communicate. But then the airplane has to be within a certain level from the sea level for it to catch that communication. But it will help. I mean, it's new technology mm -hmm. and it's developing. So that means that it will get better. It will get time. better. Definitely has to get better. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kobe, for letting Thank us know what's happening me. in the world of technology. Really interesting developments. You're watching News Desk. It's now time for Business News to stay. Thank you.